seen Jesus play with flames in the lake of fire. I will stand in. Can't go wrong with some Sturgill Sensen. At the devil in Seattle, spent nine months inside the night. Just that kind of a Sunday morning thing. Good morning, y'all. Feeling a little bit better today, and I figured I'd come out here, if you can put up with this, and uh, go through some stuff that Losey NASCAR, impressive car, and uh, finally feeling well enough to come outside and try to do a little something with it. A little teaser vid I did yesterday showed where I changed the body. Um, I'm still waiting on some parts from Losey. You guys... Your shipping sucks. I'm saying this is going on three weeks now. Didn't take you three weeks to get it out and get the money out of my account. I'm going to make a phone call or two tomorrow. Out the horizon. What a cluster that's going to be. Hey, Sue. This was the body that came on my car when I bought it. Nothing wrong with this body at all. Sturdy. Great looking. Um... Didn't never crack or anything like that. And I think I rolled in a couple of times. If you can see some scuffing up there on the roof. Car was great. Body was great. Um, I'm not a fan of these new next-gen cars. I don't like the way they do the big sponsors and the numbers. I feel like the numbers ought to be more under the window. And the sponsor decals should be where they usually were back in the day. The problem with this body was this and this alone. But the schemes that have been released... Um, when we meet to go racing, there's always a double, if not a triple of any given car. And so I have this one and my buddy Daniel had the same car. And so once we get out there on the track and start to race, and at some point we get close to each other. And <laughs> if, if either one of us loses our concentration for any, any, uh, any amount of time or happens to look at another car, by the time you go back and look at yours, uh, <laughs> there was a potential for me to think I'm driving my car when I'm actually looking at his and vice versa. So that was a major problem, major, major problem. Hilarious, but still a problem. So I figured as much racing as uh, myself and Eric and, and Kevin and a handful of us other guys used to do as far as dirt oval, um, I knew that there had to be some better, uh, some other body choices out there. Now, I'm not saying that the body that I chose is like the best body out there. It's just that I have been dealing with this company for a long time and they've never, ever let me down. So what I did was I ordered a 2005 Monte Carlo body from McAllister Racing. And it fits it perfect. <laughs> now, mind you, I need to I need to straighten out a little bit on the, the wheel arches. I get it. I need to take a Dremel to it, straighten them up a little bit, but I just haven't felt like doing it. Uh, the paint is, uh, let's see, this is a Dura, yes, a Duratrax fluorescent orange, Duratrax black, and there's just a little bit of Tamiya white. And I tried to do a three-color fade or two-color fade on the front end, and it didn't work out so well over here on this side. Uh, when I went to try to get some of the overspray off, it it kind of ganked it up over here. But that's okay. I could probably hide all of that with decals. But uh, as far as fitment, it fits it perfect. Now, it's a little wider back here on the back end than I'd want it to be. But I'm not going to complain. The spoiler was included with the body. Uh, and it's only, it's only held on there with a piece of uh, 3M. Two-sided tape's got like 70, 75 pound of hold power, so it is not going anywhere. Um, as you can see, I was able, I hope you can see it, pardon me. <laughs> I was still able to keep the diffuser here. I did put a piece of tape on the inside of the body here to kind of help uh, guard the paint. As I've already got a couple of places there, but it's a race car, so I'm not really worried about that. And then the only other thing I've done, I've started to put some decals on it. I got to get with a buddy of mine um, who's going to help me make some decals for the thing. But I laid a little piece of black down the bottom and on both sides and then around the front here as well. Now, mind you, the front bumper's still on the car too. Uh, as you can see, still there. But all this is is just black vinyl electrical tape just to break it up because there was so much orange there. 
And uh, like I said in the opening, Losi has really dropped the ball because I've ordered parts directly from Horizon Hobby or Losi, and uh, and they're still not here. So I've got to give them another freaking phone call and see what the hell's going on with my parts because it kind of ticks me off that they didn't mind taking the freaking money out of my bank account. But they have the only thing they, they they sent me was saying that they had got my order, and then they would send uh, send a confirmation when it was shipped. And I haven't seen crap yet, so a little hot about that. But overall, a good body. Uh, I understand there's some other bodies out there that'll fit it. I don't know who's making them, but I do have one thing I want to try. So just hang on a second. This is just killing me because I don't know. And it may not fit, but I'm gonna see anyway. Hang on. Just so you know, there she is, all naked. And as you can tell, there's nothing. I've still not done anything, but <laughs> who knows? Maybe one day before I check, get off of this rock, they'll uh, they'll send me my parts. I believe if that damn thing would fit, I'd, I'd find a way to make it work, but nah. <laughs> Imagine that thing if it fit. It was like done up in the uh, Herbie Coles with the big 53. That would be cool, but not happening. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to stop this one here. Uh, I'll update it when I get decals on the car. And if Horizon ever sends me my freaking parts, uh, and I'll do a separate video on the installation of that stuff. It's nothing major, uh, but how I'm going to wind up setting this thing up. Thanks for everybody, uh, the emails and the, the stuff through uh, social media, you know, well wishes and whatnot. I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't sound the greatest, but I sound a hell of a lot better than I have the last few days. So um, you guys take your real good care, and we will catch you on the next video. All right. Thanks. See ya.